All right, guys, so before the video gets rolling here, I want to just tell you guys about the next Epic Toy Show, Saturday, February 17th from 9 to 3 p.m. Focus, 9 to 3 p.m. at El Zareba Shine. 9 to 10 is just 10 bucks, and then after that, just $5. Always a lot of good stuff. All the information will be in the description below, so go ahead and give Polar Bear Pop Culture Shop a follow over on Instagram and Facebook, and I uh, hope to see you guys there. All right, guys, it is that time. We have another NECA and TMNT Universal Monsters figure that has dropped. Uh, I believe the San Diego Comic-Con, they revealed the two news figures being uh, Leo as the creature from the Black Lagoon, and then they got Raph coming out eventually as Werewolf. So I've come across Leo as creature from the Black Lagoon here, and then we do got a preview shot there of uh, Raph, Raph as a werewolf which i'm sure will be hitting shelves sometime soon i'm not exactly sure that drop date anyways guys as always uh neca does an awesome job with the artwork on these boxes like that old nostalgic universal monster movie poster type look and vibe so really always dig it and as we open it up guys nice glam shop there on the side and then quite a lot of goodies that come with this figure so we're definitely gonna look all in this a lot of detail which universal monster figures which are all right in here are just probably probably my favorite line that i collect currently besides like normal horror figures just the detail on these ones are outstanding and they're really cool pieces to have in the collection so, and there's like i said the back shot there of the box so really cool looking and then there is that werewolf figure that's coming out soon and for the reveal there is the figure coming out again a lot of additional pieces that come with this so go and take each out look at them all right, so first thing we got is some alternative hands here, which definitely has that webbing type uh, creature. You know, he's a creature from Lagoon, so he's got kind of that webbing in between the fingers. So additional hands here, some close fists, and then open fists. This is one of my favorite pieces. It comes with a little baby turtle. <laughs> really cool little piece there. Um, nothing really specific about him here, just a really cute little baby turtle we got this almost like claw type add-on weapon piece that's like a long elongated two finger claw things so and then being that you know he carries usually two katana blades he's got two kind of spears with one with a nice little catch there fish on the uh, spear and all and then this one's got kind of a dangled rope that kind of extends out from it now there is some additional items taped to the back here it looks like some string on it oh boy a lot of little loose pieces here to i think hang on to the figure but it's some hooks some fish hooks some uh, fish bobs little popper things so we'll get those all added onto him there and then this kind of little netting type rope here is the figure again so i think what the idea is you can hang those little hooks on this uh netting here I look at the detail on this with the like the scales and the gills on his face really cool detail and netting goes all the way around his back more bobblers type things he's got some like fossilized fish bones in his shell here really cool detail on this it's it's crazy what they can do with these but yeah just really really cool detail Love this one, the collection. Got some good weight to him, so should stand easily, no problem. He's got some big old feet too, so he's, I'm sure have no issues. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and add all these little doodads on him and stuff. Go probably have him do come kind of a little cross. Tell you one thing, you're a completionist. Be careful, don't lose all these little <laughs> hook things, because man, they're, Easily. Hi. You guys remember Pyre, right? Or the little puppy that he was? <laughs> ow. Excuse me. I'm. Ow. Ow. He's some little bullies, I swear. Hey. I'm doing a video. Get out of here. Okay, so I actually ended up using that rope to kind of hang a lot of the little add ons because it made it a lot easier to try to hang them and hook them on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the camera there, but made it easier to then trying to put it on the actual netting that's on his body because it's quite a tight little squeeze there so yeah guys there is the figure 
Um, now that I got all that on him, hopefully he stands out. Yep, he's still good. So looking forward to the werewolf one. We'll see, I'm sure, here soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching it. As always, take it easy. See ya.